The CDC says 26,811 new cases were reported yesterday. Daily cases have not been that high since late August. Meanwhile, more than 243,000 cases were reported across the United States yesterday. That is the third day the country has hit the 200,000 mark. Now, the Omicron variant's transmissibility is likely a factor here, given that it is now the country's dominant strain just three weeks after it was found here in the U.S. So so far, most patients are showing mild symptoms, but there are concerns that that could soon fairly change. News 6's Catalina Cardona is following that story for us tonight. Today, Advent Health told News 6 they're not letting their guard down and are preparing for a possible surge in COVID-19 hospitalizations. We're not seeing a surge in hospitalizations due to Omicron uh, at this time. We've learned from previous surges, however, that the positivity rates at our central care urgent centers can be a good indication that an increase in hospitalizations are coming. And so certainly we're not taking that for granted. With Christmas two days away, this COVID-19 testing site at Barnett Park in Orlando once again reached capacity after 1 p.m. Genesis Noguera says she's getting tested for COVID-19 because she'll be at a family gathering. She says she looked for the at-home COVID-19 testing kit but had no luck finding any. We've been to Walgreens, CBS, but there's none on any places that we went, zero, and we just found this place. Now this is my first time coming here. I've been in line for about, <laughs> I've been in line for about two hours and 45 minutes. Others, like Rafaela and her family, need a negative test result to fly back home. We need to come back to Brazil and they are asking for PCR. Did you know that the wait was so long? No, we didn't expect that. We're here because my wife tested positive yesterday. She worked at Disney. So we just want to make sure we, we're okay. We've been here since 940. As of yesterday, the single day positivity rate at Central Care was almost 27%. And that is significantly increased from just a few weeks ago when it was at 5.5%. So as a result, we're not taking any chances, even though we are not seeing a surge right now. According to the Florida Hospital Association, there are currently 1,580 patients hospitalized with COVID-19 in Florida. In the newsroom, I'm Carolina Cardona getting results, News 6. And those COVID patients will have two possible treatments in pill form. The FDA has authorized Merck's drug for emergency use. That just happened today. It can be used by adults with mild to moderate symptoms who are high risk for hospitalization, but only if an alternative treatment is not an option. Data shows the drug cut the risk of hospitalization or death by 30%. That's specifically in high risk adults. Now, the FDA gave Pfizer's drug emergency authorization yesterday. The pill can be used by COVID patients 12 and older.